Hi, today we are going to make this twin loft bed. It's basically our standard queen size bed, just raised to 160 centimeters to give us a ton of storage underneath. It's a very simple design. Uh, basically anyone can make it with just the basic tools. I have an access to a nice leg whip shop, so I made mine out of rough lumber, but you can buy some 1x8 boards, some 3x4s for the legs, as well as some, as well as some 2x4s for the support structures, and then you should be able to make it with just a cordless drill, a drill press, some kind of a saw and a random orbit sander. It's really, really simple. Just make sure that you are buying a lumber that is straight because if you buy something warp, it's gonna be much more difficult to make it look nice. All right, that's enough of talking. Let's start making. For me, the first step was to prepare all of the rough lumber. I'm using some leftover roofing battens for the legs. I want these legs to be beefy, so I'm putting four pieces together to form a leg. I'm cutting them to shorter pieces and running them through the jointer and planer. Next it was time to glue the individual pieces together. I'm using biscuits to help me align the parts and I'm gluing two pieces together at a time to form half of each leg. Then I'm going to run this half through the planer and joiner again and glue these halves together to form the actual leg. And the last step is to cut them to a correct length using a table saw. And the boards are a similar story. I needed four of them. So firstly, I sorted out the rough lumber with a circular saw. And then I used jointer and planer uh, to make the boards flat. As you can see, these are pretty big, so these adjustable roller stands came in really handy. Right, so now we've got all of the main components of the bed. Now we need the support for the mattress. Uh, the middle support are again just uh, two roofing battens glued together and they obviously need a leg uh, in the middle to basically support the mattress. So I made this little pocket in which the leg is going to fit and I'm just going to drive uh, one or two screws from the top to nicely keep it together. Next it was time to make a wooden grate to support the mattress. I took a board and cut these wooden supports and connected them with upholstery webbing to form a grate. This way I will just screw down the first and the last wooden support and the rest will be automatically fixed in place. It is now time to connect the boards to the legs. I'm using this little jig to help me drill all of the holes for the pegs as well as the bolts. I'm just going to clamp it to the leg, drill all of the holes and then clamp the other side to the board. This way all of the holes should line up nicely. And this is how the joint between the side boards and the legs will look like. Three pegs and two M8 balls with barrel nuts and this should be secure enough. The pegs are 12 mm, so plenty strong enough. So 
here I'm drilling all of the holes. For the pegs, they should be exactly 12 mm, so using a 12 mm drill bit. But for the bolts, you should drill them a little bit oversized. For M8 bolts, I would recommend at least 9 mm hole, because if you make it too small, the assembly is going to be a nightmare. This way you are going to have a much more clearance and the assembly is gonna be easier. And here I'm measuring and drilling the cross hole for the barrel nut. You need to measure this really carefully and drill it as precise as possible to the bolt hole because you want these two holes to line up really nicely. Right, the next step was to put a chamfer all around. Uh, the chamfer makes it look really, really professional and hides these little tiny gaps and mistakes. So it's a really good way to make it look pretty. After sending all of the parts to a smooth 180 grit, it was time to apply the finish. I wanted to make it look interesting, so I put on a white paint and immediately wiped it off with a paper towel. This way the paint only sticks to the low spots and gives it this really interesting washed out look, which is really nice in my opinion. And the last step was to put on a top coat. I used a nitrocellulose slacker and just painted two coats on with a brush. Uh, it's a bit time consuming, but in my opinion it's still easier than having to hustle with a spray gun. And now we can finally assemble the bed. I'm starting with the front and the back using three 12mm pegs and hammering it on with a rubber mallet. Then I'm putting in the barrel nuts and the M8 bolts and just using a ratchet to drive it home to really tighten it nicely and close the gap evenly. The final assembly was done in place and is pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. 